In this video, we are going to show you step by step how you can create and manage your email marketing journey using a tool called Moosend. Moosend is one of the most affordable and beginner friendly email marketing tool in the internet. We will give you a complete walkthrough on how you can create stunning email campaigns and automate them using this tool. So, let's get started. First, go to the first link which is given in the video description. That will take you to this page. Then click on this sign up button. Here, you can sign up for a 30-day free trial of Moosend. Simply enter your email address here. It is asking for a business email, but you can sign up using your Gmail account as well. Then click continue. Next, it will ask you for a login domain. This is basically a type of username, so simply add a username here. And then, you need to create a password as well. Then you need to check this box and click on register. Now, enter your first and last name here and click on continue button. Then enter your company name and your complete address here. Once it's done, click on continue. Then it will ask you few details about your business, like your industry, the number of employees if you have, and if you have any subscribers already. First, pick your industry from this list, then select the number of employees from here. And then select the number of subscribers. If you are already selling a product or a service online, you can check this box. Then click Continue. Now, it will ask you to check your email and click on the activation link. So, open your email and click on this email from Moosend. Then click on this activation link to fully activate your account. Now, before we start doing anything, let's have an overview of all the options and settings of Moosend. On the top, you'll see different options. You can create and manage all your email campaigns from here. Next up, you can create landing pages and subscription forms from here. You can also segment and divide your audience into different email lists from here. And all your campaign reports will be saved on this tab. Not to mention the automation feature that you can access from here. Then on the top right, you'll see the settings tab. This tab is for some advanced settings and integrations. On the left hand side, you'll see this small checklist. This checklist will help you create your very first email campaign. For now, we will follow this exact checklist. The first step is to create an email list. So, click on Create Email List button. Then enter a name for your email list. An email list helps to separate your subscribers into different groups. It will help you manage huge database of subscribers effortlessly. Once you click on this Create button, it will take you to this page. Here, you can see all the members that have joined your email list. Since we do not have any subscribers yet, this list is empty. Then, on the left-hand side, there is a Perform Bulk option. So, if you already have an email list, you can import them using this Bulk Import option. Next, we have the Settings tab, from which you can manage your subscribers. For example, if someone decides to unsubscribe to your email list, you can redirect them to a specific page by simply entering the URL here. There are some opt-in settings are here as well that will help you keep your email list clean and active. Then on the custom fields, you can create custom fields to gather more information about your subscribers. Then we also have a segment tab that we can use to segment our email subscribers. All right, now that we've created an email list, it's time for us to create a landing page that gets people to sign up for this list. To create a landing page, go to this tab called Growth Tools and then click on Landing Page. As you can see, we do not have any landing page yet. So, click on this Create New button. First, we need to give a name to our landing page. Next, we have the Search Engine Optimization Settings. Here, we need to enter our page title and meta description. These title and description will appear in the search results, so be careful while filling out these information. Next, we can also add a favicon here, which is basically a browser icon that appears on top of the browser window. For now, we will leave it as it is. Then click on this next button. Here is where you can design your entire landing page. Simply click on this start designing button and it will take you to the landing page templates section. Here you can find some pre-made landing page templates that you can use for yourself. On the left hand side, you can find different categories of landing pages such as lead generation, webinar, etc. 
you can click on this preview template option to preview every template. And once you find a template, simply click on use template option. This will take you to the landing page editor where you can customize this entire template as per your requirement. This is a drag and drop landing page builder, which means that you can simply drag some items from this left menu and then drop it on your landing page. You can choose different rows and columns from the layout section. Then if you want to add any text, go to this item section, select the text item, and drag it on your landing page. Then simply enter your text here. Similarly, you can choose a button from this list and drop it here. On the right-hand side, you can see the customization settings. This is where you can manage the colors, fonts, size, and other customization settings. Simply play around with these options and choose the style that fits you the best. You can add social media icons on your page. And then add your links here so that people can visit your social media handles. If you want to remove any specific sections or blocks, simply click on it and then click on this delete icon. You can also use this HTML block to add some extra animation effects into your landing page. There is also a countdown timer block here that you can use to show limited time offers. You can change the days and times by going through these settings. You can also add a video into your landing page using the video block and then pasting the video link here. Feel free to play around with all the settings and item blocks and figure out the best design and structure for your landing page. Now, let's go ahead and start making changes to our landing page. First, we will change this heading with our own text. Next, we want to change the date and venue here. Then let's change the button text here. So, just click on this button, then on the right hand side, scroll down to where it says labels, and then change the text here. Now, let's go to the bottom of the page. Here, we will change the copyright year to 2023. Since we don't want to make this tutorial much longer, let's go to the next step. You can save it as a draft for now. And then you can simply proceed to the next step. Now, we've come to the third step, which is to optimize the landing page for different social media handles. Here, you can add a title, description, and an image. Since we do not have any images for this landing page, we will only add a title and description here. And then click on this next button. That will take us to the fourth step, which is basically some conversion tracking settings. As you can see, the conversion tracking is already enabled. Which means that if someone sign up on your landing page, it will track it. If you are planning to advertise this landing page using Google or Facebook ads, then make sure to enable these other options. Otherwise, you can leave it as it is. Once everything is set, click on this next button. And now, we've come to the fifth step. Here, you can see that Musen has already created a domain for landing page. Which means that we can access our landing page using this link. Then we also have a second option, which is to publish our landing page on WordPress. WordPress is basically a control management system that helps you create your website without coding. More than 40% of the websites that are available on the internet is built with WordPress. Musen has its own WordPress plugin that will directly add this landing page into your WordPress website. Since this is a bit technical, we will talk about this later in the video. For now, we will just go to the next step. This is just a summary page where you can have a look at your landing page and all the settings that you set up earlier. To publish your landing page, simply click on this publish button. And that's it. Now our landing page is published, which means that we can access this landing page using this link. You can copy this link and open it on the other tab to preview it. All right, now that we've successfully published the landing page, it's time for us to import this landing page into our WordPress website. If you do not have a WordPress website yet, you can simply skip this part. To add this landing page into your website, go to your WordPress dashboard. On the left menu, click on where it says Plugin. Then click on Add New Plugin. Search Musend in this search bar. It will show you few plugins. 
you need to install this plugin and then activate it. We've already installed this plugin. Then, on the left menu, you'll see this Moose End option. Now click on Import to WordPress. Next, you only need to click on this Import button. You can also edit your landing page URL from here. And then click on this Publish button. Now, this will be your default landing page URL. You can visit your landing page using this link. Now, it's time for us to test this landing page. To do that, simply enter your name here. And then enter your email. Then click on this Submit button. Now, let's go back to our Musen dashboard. Click on this Audience tab and select Email List. You can see that we've got one active subscriber into the email list that we associated with our landing page. So, if you click on this list itself and then go to View All Members, you'll see the name and email that we used to sign up on our landing page recently. Then just go back to our dashboard. And here you'll be able to see all the stats of your email list. Next, we want to create an email automation for our newly joined subscribers. To do that, click on this Automation tab here. To set up a new automation, click on this Create Automation button. This will take you to the automation workflow. Here, we need to select a trigger for our automation. You'll find so many different triggers here. For this automation, when someone subscribes to a specific list is going to be the trigger. So, select this option and then choose your email list. And then hit save. Now, every time when someone join this email list, this automation workflow will trigger for that subscriber. Now we can simply create automated email for our subscribers. But before that, we need to have a look at the settings tab to check the sender email. On the top right, click on this icon, then go to settings, and then choose the senders option. Here, you can edit this information by clicking on the three dots and then click on Edit option. Now, we can start working on our automation workflow. First, we want to create an email campaign. So, click on this plus icon first, and then click Send Email Campaign option. Here, we first need to add a subject line to our email. Then choose a From Name Here. Next, we have these two editing options here. First one is the rich text editor, whereas the other one is a campaign editor. So, the rich text editor is kind of similar to a notepad, where you can type your text and make some basic modifications. However, the campaign editor comes up with some advanced options. It is very similar to the landing page editor that we saw recently. So, for this tutorial, we are going to select the campaign editor. Click on this Go to Editor button, and it will bring you to the Campaign Editor. Now, just like we've created our landing page, we can create an email campaign from here. On the top left, you'll see a Template Library option. You can access some pre-made templates here. We will choose this template for now. First, we will delete this button. Next, we also want to delete some texts from this template. So, let's quickly delete all these unnecessary blocks and layouts that we don't need. We will also delete this logo at the top. And now, we only need to select these texts and replace it with our own content. Then, delete all the unnecessary items from this page. Make sure to make your email as simple as possible. An email should be simple, accurate, and to the point. We also don't recommend adding too many fancy images as well. One image is good enough. Alright, we can now save this email template. Just type a name for this template and then hit save. And then you can see that our email is getting updated on the campaign editor. Now, make sure that the email per day option is set to unlimited, so that it can reach to unlimited number of people. And then click save to save all your changes. All right, we have successfully created an email automation. This is just a one-step automation, but you can increase it to as many emails you want. Congratulations! You've reached the end of our complete Musend email marketing tutorial. You're now equipped with the knowledge and skills to supercharge your email campaigns. 
Remember, the power of Musen lies in your hands. Let your creativity soar, experiment with different strategies, and watch your engagement and conversion soar. Thank you for joining us today and investing in your email marketing success. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay informed whenever we release new content and tutorials.